Stay with the Superstation as Newswatch continues. This is WTBS Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning. Welcome to the Hollywood Classics. And this morning we have the big threesome. Director Michael Curtiz and Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland in The Adventures of Robin Hood. It was about the third film that the three of them worked together on. Earl Flynn and Olivia de Havilland, well, they were in love with each other, or at least he was in love with her. She was 19 when he first appeared in a film with her. From the beginning to end, Robin Hood was a winner. It was nominated for one Academy Award when it was made in 1937. It had everything. It was one of the first three-color Technicolor films. It also had adventure, comedy, and of course, what all Warner Brothers films at the, at the time had, that was sex right around the corner. You never saw it, they just kind of hinted at it. In his autobiography, My Wicked, Wicked Ways, Errol Flynn talked about what was going through his head in 1937. He had completed two giant films right before that. In 1935, it was Captain Blood. Shortly after that, The Charge of the Light Brigade, and then this film. Well, the superstardom he had achieved so quickly was getting to him, and so was his first wife at the time, actress Lily Demita. She was very jealous, and every time he looked at another woman, which he did quite a bit, she went into a rage. Well, the two of them stayed married, living together on and off up until the 1940s. Well, Earl Flynn, of course, is another story in his own. He uh, remained a star up until his death in 1959, but of course his career sunk pretty low in the 1940s. We hope you enjoy him this morning at his peak. Here he is in The Adventures of Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. 